Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Meg Lily, if you didn't already know. And today, I kind of have a different video. So I woke up like extra early because I knew making this intro was going to take me so many times. So I've like filmed like a day in my life of like what I do with like hanging out with friends, like working out, whatever, like golf. So that's like one part of my life. But then another part of my life that like uh, clearly I wasn't really planning on making this video. Um, another part of my life that only like a handful of people are really like let in on is a lot of like doctor's appointments and just stuff like that and like and just like stuff in that nature. Going to the hospital like to get like tests done or like blood work or just stuff like that. So I figured I would share this video because it is Gastroparesis Awareness Month and it is important to raise awareness. And I do have gastroparesis. I'm not going to get too in depth about it. I'm going to like share more information throughout the vlog when I'm like in the hospital and just whatever. But basically part of my stomach is actually paralyzed. And so I have a really difficult time like digesting foods and just stuff like that and like keeping any food down whatsoever. I can wake up in the morning, my stomach can be like completely flat and then two seconds later, it can look like I'm 27 months pregnant. That's gonna be one big baby if you ask me. You know, stuff like that. I figured it was important to raise awareness. I don't wanna say I was hiding this part of my life, but kind of to like to open it up because it can like help other people and like, cause they're going through stuff too. Clearly this is not, like I don't know what to say about this. Yeah, so basically I have like a three or four hour test in the hospital. It's checking the function of something because like gastroparesis can also like cause issues to like other parts of your body. I had a test kind of like this. It was called like a gastric emptying test which is actually the test that like diagnosed me with my gastroparesis and you had to eat like these eggs just full of like radiation like they like put like like the radiation or whatever like in the eggs and then you had to eat them and it was gross you couldn't use like ketchup or anything and you had to drink warm water and it was just really nasty but this time i think they just put like um dye in through your IV or something but i will let you all know and i'll show you whatever i can let's get into it <laughs> gonna ignore the fact that I'm wearing baggy sweatpants and a loose shirt and it makes me look like I weigh 7.2 billion pounds, right? Right. Wow. We're thriving today, everybody. Oh my god. Look how high my pants are pulled up. Megan, you're so funny. Joke's on me. I walked out of the bathroom and apparently you could hear everything and the lady said something about me talking about her IV. So, good one. I have to get injected with more stuff and go under for another hour and then who knows what, but it's quite fun and I can't videotape in there. That's fun. I like put on my sweatshirt and I was freezing and I kept getting injected stuff and being under an MRI machine I have to like crack my back oh, I look like such a mess like this is atrocious god bless your souls for watching this okay so I am back from the hospital now and it is about one o'clock so it wasn't really that long it took like three hours basically i couldn't vlog that much in there because they told me i was not allowed to videotape oh, gotta respect what they want anyway so basically what they did was they first like i still have the thingy there they put an IV in my arm and they injected me like three times with something 
and then for an hour I laid down on like the table under this like MRI type machine and for an hour you just laid on the table and you just had to sit there while this machine was like over you and it was like taking video and picture of after an hour she let me like get up that's when I like took the video in the bathroom she let me get up and like stretch and then you sit back down like lay back down on the table and for an hour straight they set up like the IV pole and they for an hour they pump this like different thing into your I don't know exactly what they're pumping I'm usually very educated about what I'm getting done but it's really like to the point like I didn't even care about this so I just let it happen um so it got pumped in for like an hour and then I lay on the table and it just like took the same pictures and videos between all of that it was like three hours and like waiting and stuff so I'm like obviously like pretty bad at explaining it and I look a mess right now but when I'm not like with my friends and stuff that's kind of like the other part of my life that I haven't really exactly shared because I'm like always like afraid of like jet like people like saying stuff and whatever but it's time to get over that because it's a lot more important to raise awareness especially for gastroparesis because there's obviously no cure and a lot of people like don't know a lot about it and it can be very like threatening fortunately I consider myself pretty lucky I'm not on a feeding tube or anything especially right now I'm not um hopefully it doesn't get to the point in the future but they do have to figure something out because when I eat every time I eat I can't keep anything down or like drinks or anything so a bunch of different doctors are like working together to like try their best and figure out something to like help me but it's definitely like a long and exhausting like journey and that's what I do I spend a lot of my time to like doctor's offices and just stuff like that so I keep saying so a lot um, I'm not like good at like talking about this but I think that's where I'm gonna end the video now you know a little more about that part of my life and now a little more than just a handful of people are gonna really know about it if you enjoyed this video at all and it helped anybody at all, you can comment down below if you want to see more about my gastroparesis and what it's like for me because it's different for everybody and I didn't really give a lot of information. So, okay, okay. Thanks for watching, I guess. Bye.